Hey guys, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating your own successful Rust server. If this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing and turn on notification bells so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. And of course, if you take any value out of this video, be sure and hit that thumbs up for me. All right, my goal today is to teach you guys everything that you need to know about creating VIP kits for your players. Now, whether that be VIP kits that you just want to give away or VIP kits that you want to actually sell to your players. It works in either case, but I'm going to show you how to create them. The first section that we need to concentrate on is actually creating the group. So that would be the group called VIP or VIP regular, VIP basic, VIP elite if you want. Whatever different categorization you want to do with your VIP packages, we're going to deal with that first. Once we've created those groups, we can go back in and actually figure out what items or benefits those players are going to receive once they get that VIP package, whatever that might be. So the first part that we need to deal with is creating the groups. And there's two different ways that we can do that. We can either just use the oxide groups command, which is complicated. There really is no easy visibility to those groups once you've created them. The easier way to do it is actually to use the plugin called Better Chat. Now, Better Chat has a quite a few different uses, but one of its most powerful uses is creating and managing the groups. And I've already done a previous video on the intricacies of Better Chat and installing it and stuff like that. Check the card in the top right hand corner right now to check out that video, but make sure you come back to this video. The first thing we need to do is create our different VIP levels. So we're going to do VIP level one, two, and three, and we're going to do that all using the Better Chat plugin. So the command for that is chat group add, and then whatever the name it is that we want to use as the identifier as this group. And in this case, we're going to do VIP one. Okay, so now I've created all three of our groups. I'll show you what this looks like inside the data file for Better Chat. So this is what a group looks like inside the data file for Better Chat. It basically contains all of the information. So while yes, we've created a group and we've named it VIP one, that's all we've done so far. So this is where we can actually customize it to make it look how we want it to look once we actually see this in game. So I'm going to go through and make a couple of quick changes to each one of these levels so that later when we test this stuff out, you'll actually see these changes that I've made. I'll briefly go over the changes too after I've made them. But most of this stuff is covered in my actual Better Chat tutorial, which you can check by clicking on the card in the top right hand corner. So like I said before, when we're naming our group in the console, just using the Better Chat command, and we just use like VIP one or VIP two, that's not how it's going to appear in game. So as you can see here, I've made a couple of changes. So this is our group title that doesn't change. You want to leave that the same because you want to be able to reference this later when you're applying permissions. This line right here that I have highlighted is how it's actually going to appear in game once somebody has been assigned to this group. I've also changed the color of the title to a very neon green. So it's going to stand out in chat. And again, you guys will see that later. I've made these same changes to the other two groups so that they just stand out a little bit more. People love having titles in front of their name. They don't want it to be looking all basic and, and muffled in with everyone else's names. Okay, so we can say that we're done with the group section of this tutorial. Now let's move on to the kit section. And for that, we're going to go in game. So if you've never seen how to create the kits or how to use Rust kits, be sure to check out the video on the card in the top right corner right now. It goes in depth into the details of creating kits. I might be glazing over this a little bit, but I am going to emphasize the important points that are required for this project. So one of the hardest parts about having VIP levels is what items are we going to make available to the people that purchase those kits you want to make these kits fit in with your server you don't want them to be too overpowered you don't want to create a pay to win type of situation so you don't want to have it so that people buy these kits and have a astronomical advantage over people that don't or can't buy the kits that you have available but you do want to make it so that your kits have enough value that people are going to actually see the value in it and want to pay you money for it I should also note that this only matters if you're selling the kits. And if you haven't seen how to sell this stuff, make sure you check out my tutorial on the Tebex plugin, which teaches you how to make money off of your Rust server, which as we all know, can get very expensive after a while. Anyways, let's get back to the kits. So for anybody that buys VIP level one, I'm going to give them a P250 and a supply signal. I'm also going to make it so that this kit is only claimable once every 24 hours. The last thing that I need to make sure that I do for this kit is apply a permission to this kit. This is going to make it so that not everyone that comes into the server is going to have access to this package. 
So in this case, I'm going to do slash kit permission VIP one. And we need to remember which permissions we assign to each kit because we need to grant that permission to each individual VIP level once we're done creating our kits. So the second kit that I'm going to create is VIP level two. And as you can see here, after you've created your kit, you can actually put all of your tags all on one line. That's fine. I just was breaking it down individually before, but you don't have to do that. After we've created our kit called VIP level two, we're going to add the tags to it items, which grabs the items out of our inventory. We're going to add a cooldown of 86,400 seconds, which is 24 hours. Plus, we're going to add the permission VIP two. And then we get a return back saying that that's exactly what happened. And for VIP level three, I'm giving them an LR and an M249. Now revert back to what I was saying earlier. You don't want your kits to be too overpowered. However, this is just for demonstration purposes so that I can show you that these kits are actually working later. Slash kit items, cooldown 86,400, permission VIP three. And that's all we need to do right now for our kits. Now we need to assign the permissions that we've now declared and we need to grant them to each individual group. There are three different ways that we can do this. We can use the console that we've used in the past for applying permissions or creating groups or whatever, which is just the Oxide permissions management system. But of course, you guys know me by now and you know that there's got to be an easier way to do it. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it. The first one is using admin menu, which is from Chaos Code, which means it does cost money. Is it worth it? Yes, absolutely. I've done a tutorial on that already. If you wanna check that out, click on the card in the top right hand corner right now. The other one is free and it's called Permissions Manager and that's by Stina Maru. Like I said, I've done tutorials on both of these plugins. I can show you the features and advantages of both. Obviously, if you're just starting out, I would highly recommend you go with Stina Maru's, which is free. One last thing that we got to do to our kits before we move on, which I forgot to show you earlier, is we need to assign these kits to the GUI so that your players can just click on them and run. So to do that, we just slash kit. That brings up our GUI and in the bottom left hand corner, it gives you an option to add kits. So we're going to add all three of our kits. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use admin menu first to assign the permissions and then I'll show you permissions manager after. So to access admin menu, we just type slash admin and that'll bring up this GUI right here. We can click on permissions. We go to group permissions right there. Don't worry about this top row right here. That's all from previous tutorials. This is the section that we want to deal with right here, the VIP one, two, and three. So let's go into VIP one first. And here we can see all of the permissions that are available that we could grant to this group we've called VIP one. But for now, let's just scroll over and go to the kit section right here. So kits.vip1 has been granted to this group called VIP one. So that's good. The other method of managing permissions is using permissions manager. So to do that, we do slash perms group VIP two because we want to deal with the second group. We've already dealt with the first group. This is what the GUI looks like for permissions manager. And we can click on kits right here. And then we can go into VIP two and we need to grant the permission for VIP two kit. And of course we need to do the same thing for VIP level three. So slash perms group VIP three, and we can go into kits. And of course we need to make sure that VIP level three has been granted this permission right here. Okay. So we've created our three different levels of VIP. We've created our three different groups, and now we've attached the permissions from each one of those kits to each one of the levels of VIP. Now we need to test this out in real world application and see what it looks like once we've added a player to the different levels of VIP. Okay, so as you can see, I've now logged in with one of my alt accounts. As you can see, I'm now called Harvey Specter instead of K-Rod, and I'm also a male instead of a female. This character has absolutely no permissions, no admin, no authority on this server whatsoever. So now let's see what happens when this player just tries to claim a kit. So we do slash kit. It brings up the GUI showing that no kits are available to this player because we haven't put this player into any one of those groups. So let's see what happens when we do that. So the command to use that is chat user add and then either their name or their Steam64 or something like that, and then what group we wanna add it to. So in this case, it's chat user add, my Steam64 ID to VIP level one. And the return response is Harvey Specter has been added to VIP one. So let's go back in game and see how our kits GUI has now changed. So if we just go in game and type slash kit, 
And now we have access to that VIP package to which we didn't have access to before. And while I'm at it, I'll show you what it looks like when I type in chat. All right, so now you can see what my title looks like in chat with the VIP basic level. So let's go through and I'm gonna remove this player from VIP level one. I'm then going to add this player to VIP level two and I'll show you how the GUI changes again. The command to remove a player from a group is chat user remove their Steam64 ID or their in-game name and then what group you wanna remove them from. So in this case, chat user remove my Steam64 ID VIP level one. Harvey Specter was removed from group VIP one. We're gonna do the exact same thing we did previously with a VIP level one. We're gonna do it with VIP level two. And let's go back in game and see how that appears. We can type slash kit again. Now we have access to VIP level two. We can claim this kit every 24 hours and we have unlimited uses. And this is now what my chat looks like when I have VIP level two. I'm just gonna quickly do this again for VIP level three so that you have a basic understanding of, of the different levels. So now that I've added my character to VIP level three, now we have access to this kit right here. And this is what my chat looks like now that I've been applied to that group. So as you can see, setting up different levels of VIP for your players can be very powerful. Now, I've only shown you the example with building different kits for your different levels of VIP, but there's tons of different things that you can do for your different levels. You can grant different levels of B grade if you want, or different levels of slash up or slash down. There's tons of different things that you can apply to specific groups of people so that only those groups of players have access to certain permissions or certain levels of permissions. For example, you can make it so that your VIPs have more set homes that they can use or they have shorter cooldown times for TPing to other players or to the outpost or whatever. Anyways, the sky's the limit. You can do as much for your VIPs as you want or as little as you want too. But like I said before, you wanna make sure that there's a certain value associated with these different levels that you are selling to your players. That's of course, if you're actually selling them. If you're just giving this stuff away, it doesn't really matter. You can say, hey, Mr. Player, you're lucky I'm giving you anything at all. Rust Island is supposed to be harsh. You're supposed to fight tooth and nail for everything that you get. Just be grateful that I'm giving you anything that you didn't have to work for. Anyways, so that's how I set up VIP kits. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If it was, you know what to do. Throw me a thumbs up to make the YouTube algorithm happy. And of course, if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. I have a ton of more videos, as you'll see on the screen on the right hand side right now. Make sure you check out some of those videos. I have a ton of information on a ton of different plugins that is just going to help you get better and better at making your servers better. I hope this video helped you guys out. Really, I do. And of course, I'll see you guys next Friday.